Welcome to my art class. I'm John Brain and I'm an art tutor at Barrel Art Gallery. We are so lucky to live in Australia here because you can paint outside. As you can see, I'm outside and it's a beautiful, perfect day to be painting outside. So you don't have to restrict yourself into a studio all the time to, to paint. Now, what I want to go through with you is the difference between the two mediums that I uh, tutor in is acrylics and oils. And there's quite a difference. And the main difference between acrylics and oils is drying time. And that gives you uh, benefits of uh, each. Now, with acrylics, and I've used this uh, example of a this very colourful uh, building and landscape because I didn't have to blend many colours and I had to finish it rather quickly. So it is perfect that I, I painted it and in flat colours it dried and I could take it and I could get back to it the next day. On the other hand, oils, and that's why you can paint both in oils, the, there's no problem, but oils don't dry, they actually harden, and a lot of people have got to get to know that fact. Now, oils are very suited for portraits because you can get those very subtle tones and blends in. Oils actually blend beautifully and because they don't dry straight away, you can come back the next day and still keep your palette and mix your paint on the canvas so that it comes into these beautiful uh, colours that are just, uh, and tones and, and vignettes, which is uh, superb with oils. And you can get really fine work done. Get it well understood. Oils harden, acrylics dry, and that is uh, that is quite a big difference that you've got to learn when you're painting. Now, with acrylics, I use uh, the Matisse. It's again a professional one, and again, there's another there's another uh, which I think is a bit of a disadvantage to uh, acrylics if you get cheaper paints. They, they don't dry the colour you, you mix up. They, they'll actually go two shades darker. Whereas oils, when you mix with oils, the, what I mix, whatever colour I mix there, that'll stay that colour, that'll harden that colour. So acrylics, when I applied the blue, let's say, to the sky it was nearly white and then it dried to the nice blue so you've got to always judge that drying time and that is also there is a time when the paint just doesn't flow so just keep this in mind whether you want to do a painting in acrylic or oils both are fantastic one's not better than the other it's it's just the difference in technique now I'll be going through uh, the palettes with you uh, to make sure that, in, but in both cases, what I like to say with palettes, I'll go through palettes in detail, but what I like to emphasize with palettes is you keep them down to a minimum of colors and you keep your main uh, paints to one one pigment one, one pigment within the in the tube uh, that is because if you mix the paint companies have made up colors that make it easy for let's say the artists on the way up that they can get a color that the, the, the they want to use and they can move in 
The trouble is, once you mix that colour, and that'll be a mixture of a couple of pigments, and you can then start to mix that colour with other pigments, and you suddenly you've got about seven or eight pigments in your palette, and you'll never get back to that colour. I really think, choose, choose what you like. You can, I've got a very easy way to start portraits. Uh, anyone to me can paint a portrait. It's often considered the pinnacle of painting. But I've got this very unique process that makes it very easy and very quick to do. So uh, the, the details of my class I'll, I'll put up there on the screen now and please uh, book in. I'd love to see you and I'd love to see your progress.